Hi everyone, it's Jean. I hope you're having a great evening. What do you do with black and white images that you find on line or wherever and you cut them and you and you look at them and they're so beautiful and you think what am i going to do with black and white images well for the most part let me verify i'm um filming here give me a second okay for the most part, I love to use and create these black and white images. I'm very um, much into that vintage romantic style. And I have created a few of these ladies that look so beautiful in their hats and their um, feathers. And I wanted to show you a way that I use black and white images in my work. So I have here two examples. And what this is, is where I've cut out the black and white image and I've used fabric where I've cut out the floral and added it to the image. And then when I'm finished, I will sew around the edges and then back it with harder cardstock. So those are the two that I wanted to try kind of as an example for you. But let's go ahead and cut out this little maiden. Now, this is really nice to use with um, black and white Im images. If you have some that are real, I know some people have, I, for example, I personally have a box of black and white images that were probably from the 50s or 60s. I don't know when, but um, you could do it right on the photograph if you wanted to or like I said you can go online and print out black and white images these I'm going to add to my Facebook group so you will have access to them but there's another um, color that sometimes we see and that's called sepia and it is a, a darker, like black and white, but more of a brown. And it makes beautiful images as well. So I think for this one, just for the video's sake, I'm going to use this material because I think that let me see do i have a hem here a little bit but it's already so i would look at this piece of fabric and i want to make sure that i get the best use of it when i'm cutting out something that might go on an image so i'm i'm probably i'm going to cut right here but I'm going to cut around the edge of this yellow flower so that I have a piece of this blue on the end that I can use on my piece. So I'm just going to go around the edge of the flower and cut it out. I try to cut as close as I can, still following the shape, but not getting as much of that white in. Now, when you sew this, you'll know you won't see 
the weight as much, but it just depends on what kind of look you're going for, the kind of scissors you have, that type of thing. So for her, I wanted to kind of I wanted to kind of put it on the side here. We could do, yeah, I kind of like the side. And see, when I'm using this piece, it's not being wasted. It's being used for part of the design. And then what you can do is build on top of this as well. And you'll get an even more colorful design. So you can see how when you add this little piece of blue, how that really enhances the photo quite a bit and allows you to see bring to life the the actual image now this big flower i think is going to be too too big for her so i'm going to cut this one used any of this yet these little groupings of flowers I'm not sure what they are but so with this one I'm going to try to cut it out as close as I can to the design but this one's a little bit fiddlier now one thing I like about this fabric, it's either a canvas or upholstery fabric or something. It's very easy to cut and it's stiff enough that as you cut around it, it doesn't flop around. So you can cut it nice and even. You know, some fabrics are so lightweight and if you're trying to cut an applique out of them it can be pretty challenging but you don't need any special fabric for this um you can use anything you find that has some designs that you can cut out um curtains you can use tablecloths. You can go to the thrift store and pick up a bed sheet or something like that that has little flower designs in it. Um, so you have quite a few options as far as what you can use when you're doing this project. Now I'm going to cut this leaf off and I'm going to cut around here a little bit more. And it's all about just laying it down and seeing what works for you. Now, I just thought maybe, maybe someone would like to do this and they don't have a whole lot of... fabric options. If you have any f any designer papers that you get in pads of paper, like scrapbook paper, that type of thing, you can sometimes find some that have birds or that are floral and you can cut that out and put it on as well um, and brighten up the image that way so this is what i'm going to do with this little blue thing little blue flower cluster here i'm not sure what it is <clears throat> they kind of 
gave me the feeling that they might have been um, lilies or something. So I'm going to put this on, but I don't want to have as much of this piece on there. So I'm going to lay it how I want it, and then what I'll do is I'll come back and trim it to match the edge of the photo. So just trim it out like that. And then when we um, are sewing it, we'll sew along the different layers. Let me see if I can find... <clears throat> And what I try to do is I try to go around the sides and see what I can use that's close to the border because I don't want to cut right in the middle of the fabric, if that makes sense. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to borrow some leaves from this one plant and I'm going to cut it out with this blue. Now this is just the edge and I'm making do here. So give me a second. Boy, I can hear it really raining. So if it changes to snow, that's going to be a lot of snow. Okay, the temperature's going to have to drop. I think we're still in the 40s, so that's one factor. And also, I was thinking, too, you know how on paper, when we don't get quite to the edge and we want to kind of hide some of that white that we're seeing that's going around the edge of the fabric here, you can actually take a brush, if you like, and go around the edge, that's perfectly fine. So then it helps to mask the fact that it's all, um, that it's been cut out, kind of like we do around the edges of the fabric here. So I thought she needed something else, maybe coming from the side here. So we're gonna move this down a little bit and put this on the side. That way it feels to be more even. And if you have anything like little pearls or flat backs or something that you wanna put maybe to accentuate the floral, you can certainly do that. And I was talking about Birds, if you find birds or butterflies, they're really fun. I need to cut this so it looks more like a leaf. There we go. So here we have this one and this one, and then that brightens it up a little bit more. And then when I sew it, of course, um, and back it with some pretty paper, it'll look really nice. Now, um, as I was mentioning, the one these that I have already done, um, they are backed with some type of heavier designer paper. So I would encourage you, um, if you are going to sew these, to sew them first and then back them with whatever you want. You can either back them flush 
or you can back them where um, they have a matted look. So what I mean by that is putting this one on top of one color and just leaving the very edge of that second color come out and then maybe even a third one if you wanted to. The great thing about doing these and taking the time to sew around the flowers and even a little uh, crazy sewing on here, you know, just to get the flowers tacked down is a good way to make the finishing touches on the project. So if you have the opportunity to sew them, they really come out quite neat. So this evening, the three I made, I made this lovely lady, and I think she looks really nice with the peach and the pink. This one I think is my favorite. This was part of a lily, and then we added in some more green. And then this one is the one we did right now. We need to put a, some words on it. And these women and their facial expressions really help you to see And I'm just going to put this one right across here. And it says it's all perspective. So I think these are a good example of how you can use fabric appliques on black and white photos to dress up some of your journal cards, your tags, your inserts for in pockets, you can do a variety of things with these. Sew them up, mat them, put them in your ephemera box, and then you'll have whatever you need the next time you're sending out happy mail or if you are creating a new journal you'll have the ephemera that you need. So these that I have here, this was the first one that I made. And as I was mentioning, this is more of a sepia color. And here's another one. Some of them are children, some of them are women, and they're different shapes. I really love this one. And the ones where I put the flower on top of their head looks really cute too. And here's another one. This one looks really pretty. And this is one of my favorite ones. Fall in love with as many things as possible. So the way this all started is I was um, sitting here um, thinking of what in the world I was going to do for Arm's Length Saturday. And I saw this fabric sticking out of one of the totes that my mom has here. And then I remembered I had this orange one. So I've been just cutting little pieces out of it as I go and using them on either black and white images. Um, I use some on my snippet roll that I... It's not a roll. My snippet strip and that video um, is the one right before this one. So I just like um, to do those types of things. They keep me um, busy and animated and I hope that this is something that you will try as well. Additionally, every time I have a video, 
I invite you to join my Facebook group, which is Lilac Lane Livery Arts. If you join the Facebook group and you post a picture of a design that you've come up with, either a tag or a journaling card or something that you've made that's in relation to one of my videos, I will send you a little envelope in the mail with some goodies that you can use to further your creative um, works with your journal. So thank you so much for stopping by and spending some time with me this evening. And whether you try this with fabric or, or paper, I'm sure it's going to turn out beautiful. So keep me posted if you try this. Again, put it in the Facebook group. And I really appreciate your support. Thank you so much for everything. And you all have a great evening. Bye for now.